Hi, my name is Angel. I handle the design wear portion of shoe repair and design wear. And today I will be filling in a custom frame ornament. So I use Corel Draw for this ornament. I did a wreath design with said date of a uh, year this was ordered for the family. Then I outline it and color it differently that way I don't get confused. And I'm gonna make this hollow, which is why there's another red outline on the inside. So I'm gonna engrave the wood with this wreath and then I'm gonna cut around it twice over so I have a backing and then I have the front portion and then I'm gonna reuse this for hollowed portion. <laughs> So we cut a backing out of the wood, then we cut a frame like so that will fit right on top of this backing and then I use clear acrylic to fill in that hollow part where the picture will be. And it'll overlap just like so. So we're going to be finishing the wreath ornament. I just got the picture in and cropped to the size. I need. Alright, it looks like it fits pretty good. around the wreath that way the glue has some pressure to so it could dry and adhere not only to the picture but to the um the frame I gave it pretty good this is how it's looking nice and beautiful and we'll just let that dry now all right it is done yes I put bubble wrap right here I'm very nervous that it might break in any way I worked really hard on it so remember on Corel Draw when I made the outline on the inside for, and hollowed it out, it was to hold the frame. I matched it with the acrylic to protect the photo from being damaged. And then I replicated the same cutout for the exterior for a backing. Now, I forgot to drill a hole in here, which is fine because I didn't want the acrylic to fracture anyways or crack and possibly ruin the photo or have my, myself create more work because I'd have to repeat the whole process again. So what I did was I created these wooden wall hangings with my laser, just like so. Then I tied the twine through it, pressed it down with our uh, labeled backing, and it is super secure. It holds pretty well, actually <laughs> impressively well. And it doesn't need any wall support behind it for it to hang perfectly. I mean, obviously it helps, for example, if I Put it against the wall it strains out just a little bit but you can't tell the difference from when it's away from the wall just a slight little angling in it which is really nice because sometimes they over angle and they start to face downwards which is something i was concerned about but this turned out really well for my first frame ornament and that's how i did it so if you're interested if you have a laser or a scroll saw perhaps you can take the same process thank you guys